Hey, what's up guys? It's Mickey again. I'm here at the Nashville Reptile Expo. I'm here with Phil from Josh's Frogs. And uh, if you guys aren't familiar with Josh's Frogs, obviously they, they uh, carry a lot of frogs. They, they, they captive breed a lot of different species of frogs, uh, geckos, uh, a lot of different reptiles you guys work with. Absolutely, tons of different reptiles. So we are one of the largest captive breeding facilities in the U.S. of all pet amphibians and reptiles, and everything we do is captive bred, born and raised, and all done in house if we can. So awesome! So you guys also you guys also make a lot of your own substrates. You know, that go along with the animals that you guys breed and sell. Absolutely. So we take a lot of time to research all of the animals that we work with to try and set them up for best success. So we have lines of products for pretty much every animal you can think of and how to keep it the best way possible. Yeah. So really, you know, Josh's frogs, if you know, you guys, you guys are available everywhere uh, right now. You know, you guys come out and do a lot of these shows and stuff, but, but really somebody could set up a frog and you guys are their one-stop shop for everything. You guys offer a lot of support and education for that too. Oh, absolutely. So we have a pretty much 24 seven chat available where customers can reach out and answer, ask questions and get answers from the experts. Uh, so they'll get directly connected to, you know, whoever we have at the business that's gonna be best to answer their questions. Beautiful. And now you said you specialize in insects. I do. So I actually run our uh, microfauna department back at the headquarters in Owasso. Awesome. So, so tell us a little bit about that. So I am in charge of kind of maintaining and breeding and planning for all of our isopods, springtails, millipedes, and our crab programs. Oh, crabs. Yeah. So we're one of the only places that are captive breeding crabs right now. So we're currently working on captive breeding hermit crabs and learning alongside Mary Acres and the Hermit House Society, as well as a lot of species of freshwater crabs and trying to kind of improve the hobby there in that way. So that's, that's really awesome. So we do a lot with the Hermit Crab Society because Hermit Crabs honestly are probably one of the most, they're just improperly kept. They've been improperly oh, kept. Every shopping mall in the United States has had the, the big bin full of Hermit Crabs that are set up for dying. So that's, that's really, really awesome to see a lot of people working with those animals. Uh, Thank you. You know, you guys also propagate a lot of your own plants. We do. So we do a lot of in-house propagation and a lot of these plants are repotted from mothers that we have growing back at the shop. Uh, a lot of them are treated to make sure that there is nothing going on and absolutely safe for your animal. So we get everything out that looks nice and healthy and all of the plants are always looking awesome, especially at the shows. Oh yeah, I know we we like to carry a lot of your guys' plants in our stores too. We actually oh, carry awesome. quite a few of your guys' products in the, in the stores. Uh, well, Phil, thank you so much. And, Absolutely. Uh, you know, as the show picks up, I'll talk to you later. Absolutely.